is up guys, Goody here, and before this video starts, I want to give a big shout out to Justin Whitelock, Rasboyanik Usigas, Smash Cants, Thomas Pluzone, and Micah L. Guys, thank you so much for the support, and enjoy the video. Alright guys, welcome back to another ACW video of the Hardcore Submods. We are going to be playing on Burnside's Bridge as the Union. As you can tell, the engagement is already commencing. Oh man, artillery striking the 114th Pennsylvania right off the bat. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be a 2v1 battle. I'm going to be playing with snipes. Now, the rules for this engagement was uh, we had to stick with an army and a half. So we have a little bit more than the Confederates. Um, and opposing us, we have Drifter, and like I said, he's going to be playing as the Confederacy. As you can tell, our skirmishers already routing from the battlefield, just with 19 guys remaining. Uh, but th there's going to be two sections to this battle. So we have the main engagement consisting uh, over here by Burnside's Bridge, and then we also have another crossing uh, on the left side. Now, this is not going to be nearly as big, but we're going to try and push forward and hopefully defeat these forces in the woods and wrap around behind them. So starting off the battle, like I said, uh, Confederates and Union troops using similar tactics are going to be firing uh, with double ranks. So a unit firing above the other unit, which definitely does increase firepower. So in terms of terrain, uh, Confederates are definitely at an advantage. Not only do they have the high ground, but they also have the wood lines to protect themselves. Uh, over here, we're pretty much stuck with a fence line. Definitely not the best. Look at the Pennsylvania boys engaging. It is loud, very loud. Uh, and over here we got the New York. So our game plan for this match is to set up a center force here uh, to charge across the bridge and then push around to the left flank. As you can tell, artillery really hitting this unit hard here. McLaws unit down to 227 already. Uh, but the Confederates having a really good position in terms of artillery. Uh, they're going to be using some 12 pound Napoleons and they're going to be arching their shots and sending them right into these reserve lines. So we got the Union Veteran Regiment Infantry, or Infantry Regiment. They're gonna be holding as a reserve unit uh, for the charge later on, but here we go. The charge is commencing. Oh my goodness. Round hitting right on the 9th New York. And they're gonna be pushing across Burnside's Bridge. So first unit over. They are going to be trying their best to make it. As you can tell, losing guys. Uh, man, this artillery is something else. And there we go. Now sprinting the men across. Jeez. The amount of rounds hitting this unit. Unbelievable. And they're going to be followed up by some Zuov units. So the only two Union units are now across. It's like my own artillery is trying to kill myself. Or my own guys. That is not good. But as you can tell, Confederates are just up there on the hillside above. These guys are going to be pushing in, trying to close that gap. Now, with this mod, you do not want to run long distances. That will definitely decrease your stamina and, as a result, decrease that morale. Man, another direct hit. So I need to push these guys up quickly. They need to get firing uh, and start engaging. But here comes a charge coming in. Oh my goodness, artillery. Unbelievable. And I am trying to get these guys to shoot before they charge in. We have Hood's oh, division. Running, They're going to be leading the way and trying to push back the Yankees on side or on this side of the map. McLaws going to be following in close behind. So Union troops not looking too good over here. Uh, backing away from the melee engagement, I'm going to be giving these guys some cover fire uh, with these Union troops on the other side. And hopefully we're going to be able to beat back this Confederate force. Now, like I said, we do have reinforcements. We have more men than the Confederates, and we know that going into the battle. Uh, so we're just going to try and push as many guys across as possible and just try and use the steamroll method to defeat them. Uh, but it's going to be tough. As you can tell, these guys are heavily blobbed up. Easy for artillery to strike uh, and get a lot of kills. Not to mention, Pickett's division on top of that hill has perfect view of my guys as they cross... These guys are just stagnant. Oh my goodness. They are <laughs> they're getting tossed around down there. 
We got the 39th New York in the back. And these guys are just holding fire. I don't know if they're, uh... Oh, no. Okay, so it looks like they're somewhat glitched here. Only partial uh, amount of guys are firing at this unit here. Uh, engagement is still going on. Let's go ahead and take a look on the left side of the map here. Uh, we have a skirmish going on. My three units up against some skirmish units and an artillery piece. And they're going to be pounding my guys from a distance. Um, but starting to do some decent work on these guys, but definitely not nearly as epic as back on Burnside's side. Uh, so we'll head back over there. Like I said, more units being sent in. Morale is starting to waver for the 9th New York, the original unit that crossed first, but Confederates are also starting to lose morale. Look at all that blood. Incredible. If you guys do want to participate in these battles, I will leave a link in the description to the mod. I highly recommend you get it. Uh, Cold Front is the creator, and he did a fantastic job making this. So it looks like Hood's division is about to break, and now we are starting to make an assault onto the main objective. Now, if you think about it in War of Rights terms, uh, the capture point is somewhere over here. Uh, so we are we're almost on the capture point uh, But like I said that that is of no importance there, there is no capture point on this map uh, So what I'm gonna be doing here is I'm actually gonna be targeting Pickett's division with my artillery trying to get them off the point uh, and allow a clear uh, a Clear crossing without any resistance from small arms fire So gonna be depleting those guys as you can tell artillery put in some nice work on those guys and another engagement going on. This time we have Pickett's Division. Uh, another Pickett's Division holding back about six units of Yankees. That is a job and a half. Maybe even more than that. Uh, and not to mention more Zuov units are going to be sent over. And unopposed. Unopposed. So unit troops looking really good at this point. Looks like Confederate reinforcements are being sent in. We got the 24th Georgia Volunteer Infantry Regiment uh, pushing in to hopefully try and flank. Uh, but the Confederates just are not looking too hot right now. They need to try and beat back these guys as best as possible. But great job by Drifter sending in one unit to try and hold back the rest. He's doing a fantastic job of that. And it's definitely racking up a lot of kills on my guys. Uh, continuing the bombardment, actually going to be targeting the Volunteer Infantry Regiment, taking out some good kills there, some good guys. Uh, well, not good guys for me at least. <laughs> they are the bad guys. Um, but I'm going to be keeping up the fire on the left flank with Pennsylvania units, uh, picking these guys off as they do try to march across, and Hood's division getting hit extremely hard on the flanks. You can see the leftovers of the bodies, and they are just piling up. Uh, so more units are being sent over, like I said, and we are making a pretty good breakthrough. Artillery still exploding all around. We will see. So far, so good. But here we go. Kind of a choke point here. Confederates have a really good angle to fire on us as we do try to push up this hill. Extremely clustered and some great targets for artillery. These guys are extremely clustered. Um, and we will see how the Confederates respond. It looks like they are going to be forming up. Got a volunteer unit trying to hold the line. And actually, I think they're going to be charging in. Oh my goodness. Another great strike there by the artillery. And here we go. 24th Georgia committing to a charge. And they're going to be pushing in on these Zuov units. It is a little bit too early for Christmas. But it looks like they are going to be repping the Santa hats. Look at this engagement. Unbelievable. So many people. And a really good move here by Drifter. Reforming the line. Getting my guys tangled up in the melee engagement. Meanwhile, his lines are going to be shooting my flanks. This artillery is unbelievable. So much carnage. Uh, back on the left flank, we are starting to make some good progress here. Depleting these guys down to around 42 guys and 47 there. Um, and only suffering a couple ca actually this middle unit is taking a lot of losses in the right as well so trying to hold the line over there at least trying to keep up a good assault and sending over another unit got another volunteer unit like I said unopposed oh my gosh man no one is safe 
No one is safe here. Morale is bad on both sides of the line. The man of the teams must rest and my guys are losing stamina and as a result are going to be breaking. So another Zuov unit is going to be lining up. I believe this is Snipe's unit. This is not my unit. So he's going to be forming up there uh, to try and protect our flank. Gosh, man. How is that guy alive? Man of steel. I am trying to send in as many rounds as possible to try and clear out this area. Uh, but his guys are starting to come back, and that is a big concern for me. I need these guys to be shattered and off the battlefield for good. But here we go. We are now sending pretty much the entire uh, remaining force from the other side over. And a lot of men. A lot of men. So Confederates already having a tough time as is, and it's just got about ten times harder. But this flanking force here is doing a superb job. Fantastic move. Uh, but the flankers are being flanked. I still have control over here on this side of the fence line. And they're just going to be laying down lead on these confederates. Uh, these guys aren't having a great time down here. These guys are the early birds. They're going to be the first ones to go. Um, but yeah, Zuoff's trying their best to hold back. And we are starting to break the lines. As you can tell, Volunteer Infantry Regiment now breaking. And hopefully that can trigger a mass route. Gosh, unbelievable. And that shot alone, man, people flying upwards of 20 feet in the air. That guy, <laughs> oh, fun times for him. Anyways, on this left flank, I did commit to a melee charge here with my Union Veteran Infantry units. Uh, they should easily be able to break these skirmishers. And with only 33 of them, it should not be a challenge much at all. Slowly starting to stab these guys. Got Drummer Boy in on the action. Let's see if he can get a kill. Got the officer standing here. Ooh, good block, good block. And it looks like those Confederates are broken. However, the artillery is up on the hill as well. Um, they're going to be a big concern. Actually, no, they just broke. They just broke. But look at the amount of chevrons they managed to get. Three chevrons. Fantastic job there. Uh, but looking back on the main engagement, uh, a mass route from the Confederacy. It is not looking promising for these guys. Um, and let's take a look at the dead bodies. But my guys are still shooting the artillery. Crazy. But with that mass route, it's going to allow my guys a nice, easy break. And uh, they're going to be pushing straight for the artillery and the officer. Artillery is, uh, they, they got a lot, a lot to take care of. But we will see. Canister can work wonders. They just got to make sure they're not shooting their friendlies retreating from the battlefield. That would not be good. Do not want to pull a stall in. Uh, anyways, I noticed this artillery on this right flank, and I'm going to be marching these guys into combat. 72nd New York. These guys have a lot on their plate. Uh, marching alone up against two batteries of artillery is never a good idea, but I need these guys to get killed. Uh, or killed, not, not ki get killed. <laughs> I don't want to sabotage my own unit, uh, but I need those artillery pieces to get out of the game. Uh, as for the left flank... Uh, looks like some units have come back from the battlefield. Looks like the general is trying to inspire his men. Artillery still holding steadfast. They are not wanting to leave. They are in a fantastic position. But here we go. Pickett's division forming up. And I am trying my best to melee charge this unit to break them. But you guys will see in just a second. These units actually start to come back. And that's going to cause me some issues. Uh... But morale is very low for the Confederates right now. And they're actually going to be breaking once again. So we're going to fast forward just a little bit here uh, until they do come back to the battle. Uh, as for this other unit, I'm going to be charging them once again up this hill. Uh, still out of range of the artillery due to the defilade. Um, but yeah, these guys are slowly going to be coming back. They have given themselves some distance from routing. Uh, I thought for the most part it was pretty much over. We got a nice little melee engagement here on the artillery piece. Uh, veteran unit charging in on this 12-pound uh, howitzer unit. 
And once again, doing a fantastic job of getting kills with those chevrons. As you can tell, the general inspiring his men and actually rallying three units back to the battle. So they're going to be forming up. They are not done just yet. I did notice that. Um, and the, the poor 72nd. These guys, I... Yeah. Not a good idea. I should not have charged them in there alone. I was just a suicider on it. <laughs> I'm doing the exact same thing again for the 39th New York. This has to be, be one of the coolest looking units in the game. These guys, historically, uh, were at Harper's Ferry. Oh my gosh! That one ripping through the line. So even though they seem like they are out of range, they are, uh, they're not in great cover. And here we go. Gonna be ordering my guys into a charge. Got the 74th alongside the 68th. And they're gonna be pushing in on this volunteer unit. Now the volunteer units aren't the best, however, if they can get lined up and fire a volley into my lines, it could be absolutely devastating. Now, my guys are tired, so they're not going to have the best stamina by the time they get into melee. But I'm hoping I can use my numbers to try and overwhelm his flank here and try and bring him down. As you can tell, morale oop, is kind of wavering. <laughs> not the best volley from the volunteers on that first shot. And another engagement. Volunteers taking that charge. We got a second unit holding the line. General can only watch as his men slowly die in front of him. This dude is very pasty. Um, nice beard, though. Nice beard. If he, if he gained about 100 pounds, I'm sure he'd pull off the Santa Claus look. Uh, but here we go. Flanking move coming in from the Confederates. It is loud in here. It is fierce fighting. Trying their best to hold. Morale is low on the Confederate side. They might break. But fierce fighting. Let's see if we can see any headlocks. Oh no, okay. So my guys are now starting to break. Uh, very unfortunate. We got the 63rd now routing from the battlefield. The Confederates doing a fantastic job of holding the line. And a mass route. This is not good news for my guys. Routing with 160, 150 men. Confederates managing to turn the tide of the battle. And they're going to be reforming and getting a ton of kills as my guys do retreat. So this battle is not over yet. The Confederates still have a glimpse of hope. Oh man, this canister is just wrecking this line. My goodness. As you can tell, the Zuhovs are trying to get some flanking fire. Artillery crew actually coming out and are going to be charging with their sabers. Too bad that one unit couldn't make it, but can this second unit make it? Or is this going to be a firing squad? What in the world? Confederates breaking them with just the artillery crew. What a bunch of pansies, man. Wow. Yeah, go back to the North Pole. Come on, man. Really? <laughs> All they had to do is show them their sabers and they were gone. <laughs> Who knew 16 guys could be so intimidating? Anyways. The engagement is still continuing on this right flank. Going to be charging in once again with the volunteer unit. And they're going to be taking some losses as they charge in. But I believe they do make it into melee combat. By the skin of their teeth, they do make it. And actually breaking one of the units. So morale is once again very bad for the Confederacy. And I can see why. Look what is blooming in the woods another big union force pushing out i do think some of my units did come back they did so it's gonna decrease their morale being on the flanks like that and there we go so confederates are now starting to waver we have one more unit on this side in terms of line of infantry for the confederacy uh back on the other side i did manage to break through all those skirmishers and uh confederate forces and these guys are gonna be pushing out over to the right flank to help my guys uh and good numbers too so Confederates are in a predicament right now. General charging in, actually getting a really nice charge. I did miss it, sadly. Uh, but look at the flag bear. Look at him. What a baller. That is so cool to see the flag being carried on, on a cavalry unit. Awesome stuff. 
Uh, anyways, we're going to go ahead and fast forward. It looks like the engagement is just about over. Uh, actually, we're going to be charging it one more time here. Uh, but that is pretty much the game, guys. Uh, we're going to be cleaning up this artillery crew and that artillery crew. And then also this final line, which is about to break. So, guys, uh, we're going we're gonna to fast forward a bit. And there goes the unit. Let's go ahead and watch the general. Let's watch the general, and then we will fast forward to the end. Killing the general. Only a couple guys left, and that was the final blow to this Confederate line. All right, so taking a look at the statistics now, uh, 1,400 kills for me, 600 for Snipes. He did bring a smaller army and Drifter with about 1,500 getting the most out of all of us. He did a phenomenal job being outnumbered 2 to 1. Um, extremely hard odds, and he definitely did his best. Let's go ahead and look at the statistics here for the kill count. Uh, we got 186 kills, 185. Oh my goodness, only 8 losses for the 73rd. Wow. Well, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, guys, go check out the mod. It is fantastic. I highly recommend it. It's going to be in the description below. Feel free to click the link and download. Uh, but until then, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Let me up